Hare Krishna. So let us continue hearing the pastimes of Srila Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj. So let us again start by reciting his Pranam Mantra. Gauravir Bhava Bhumestvam Nirdeshta Sajjana Priya Vaishnava Sarabhauma Shri Jagannathaya Te Namaha as I said in the previous uh, stories, Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj was over 150 years old and he ha had to be carried in a basket by his servant Bihari who, uh, who it was said that he is very stout and strong. He would carry Jagannath Das Babaji in a basket. Once while he was going uh, near the ocean, that time one very wealthy merchant came and uh, he gave Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj one rupee and he went away. Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj after some time, after walking, after Bihari had walked 2 to 3 kilometers, he told uh, Bihari, Bihari let us turn back, let us go back to that merchant. So then uh, Bihari on the order of Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj came back and uh, they called for that wealthy merchant and Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj, he gave him that one rupee, he said, oh it is so heavy, I am not able to hold this one rupee. I can't imagine how can you hold so much money with you. With this actually Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj wanted to teach him a lesson that he is not doing a big favor by giving this small amount of donation and like uh, he was teaching him that how he should not be miserly. So this lesson Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj taught this wealthy merchant. Now the next pastime is Srila Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj had instructed Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur uh, to find the, to locate the birthplace of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Lord Krishna himself. Uh, who, uh, so he was told by uh, Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj uh, to find out the place. So Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur, he was transferred to different places. Now specifically to find out the birth site of uh, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he came to the place called Krishna Nagar. At this place he was staying along with his son uh, in a place called Rani Dharmashala. From there, every day Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur would go on studying maps. He, he, uh, he found out different maps and tried to find out where exact is the location uh, where Lord Ch Chaitanya Mahaprabhu will be born. So this is uh, empiric evidence. How did he get that? One day when he was standing in Rani Dharamshala in the veranda there, from there on the other side of Ganga, he saw something very effulgent, some a pillar of light was coming out and it was glowing. So he wanted to find out what place it is. So he went walking with his son over there and he found that at that spot, only that spot, only Tulsi tree, uh, Tulsi plant would grow and that there was a dense, uh, that full place, full Tulsi plant had grown. And uh, that place at that time it was owned by some Muslims where uh, they said, oh this ground is of no use because we are not able to cultivate. Every time we try to grow new crops, nothing grows except Tulsi. So this was an empiric evidence for uh, Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur for the uh, birthplace of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Like until then nobody knew, everybody used to say this place may be, this place may be. Nobody was sure that which place exactly Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was born. And then he went and he uh, took the scriptures and while searching the scriptures he got Chaitanya Bhagavat. Chaitanya Bhagavat is about Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu written by Vrindavan Das Thakur. So in that he found this specific line, Navadvipa Madhe Mayapura Sthane Yathaye Janmila Gaura Chandra Bhagavan. The meaning of this line is that right in the center of Navadvip is a place called Mayapur. In that place Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was born. So this was Shastrik evidence. So now he got two evidence for the birth of Lord Chaitanya that is empiric evidence through ma maps and then second is uh, Shastrik evidence through scriptures. But now he wanted spiritual evidence. So he went to his guru who was Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj who was 150 years old. So uh, Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj was carried by Bihari from the place where he was staying to this place where uh, he wanted to locate the birthplace of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So when Bihari was carrying uh, Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj, it is said that Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj even to see his eyes had to be opened wide opened like this. 
and uh, he, uh, he was so weak he was sitting in the basket but the moment this place the birthplace of chaitanya mahaprabhu came this jagannadas baba ji maharaj who was 150 years old he jumped from the basket and he said he to nimai janmasthan yes this is the place where nimai was born nimai is the name of lord chaitanya because he was born under a neem tree he was named as nimai in his childhood so this is the place where nimai was born where chaitanya mahaprabhu was born this is how jagannadas baba ji maharaj gave the spiritual evidence to bhakti vinod thakur that yes this is the place where chaitanya mahaprabhu was born then after some time they started digging the place to construct a temple when they started digging the place they got a beautiful deity of adhokshaja vishnu and this deity it is said that it was worshiped by jagannath mishra and sachi mata who are the parents of chaitanya mahaprabhu so this was archaeological evidence that this is the birthplace of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu so this is how shila bhakti vinod thakur got four evidences that uh, this is the birthplace of chaitanya mahaprabhu one is through the maps he got empirical evidence then through the shastras he got uh, through chaitanya bhagavat that this is the birthplace of chaitanya mahaprabhu then through uh, spiritual evidence through jagannath das baba ji maharaj he got the proof that this is chaitanya mahaprabhu's birthplace and fourth archaeological evidence he got the deity of adokshaja vishnu then she it is said that shila bhakti vinod thakur went to every house to uh, request them to give some donation to construct a temple at this place this place is called as yoga peet so he wanted to construct a temple where chaitanya mahaprabhu was born so he went to every house so they would give him 1 paisa 2 paisa 5 paisa 10 paisa 25 paisa if somebody would give him 50 paisa or 1 rupee he will be so happy he'll say oh so thank you so much for giving 50 paisa somebody will give him 1 rupee say thank you so much for giving 1 rupee so like this he went and gave opportunity to every resident in navadweep to participate in constructing a temple for uh, chaitanya mahaprabhu at the yoga peet then the temple was constructed and now uh, one day uh, shila bhakti vinod thakur son he was suffering from chronic disease and no doctors could Uh, help him with uh, getting solution for that disease that time jagannath das baba ji maharaj told uh, shila bhakti vinod thakur that you get the child and let him roll in the dust in the yoga peet and that is the uh, solution for his problem and immediately bhakti vinod thakur got his son and the son rolled in the dust in the yoga peet and he became completely all right so this is how yoga peet was discovered then another past time is of the severe austerities jagannath das baba ji maharaj would do in chaturmas chaturmas means the four months when the rainy season comes it starts around july for these four months what happens is because it rains all the animals uh, the small insects they come out of the ground that is why normally the saints they don't go outside they stay at one place and constantly they chant the names of the lord so that they don't hurt any animals so during the chaturmas it is said jagannath das baba ji maharaj during the first month he would go on chanting continuously from morning to night and in the first month in the nights he would take only four bananas and in the second month again from morning to night he'll go on chanting hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare in the second month in the evenings he will just take some guavas and in the third month it is said again the whole day he would chant hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare and in the evening he will just drink some buttermilk and in the fourth month it is said that he would again continuously chant the names of the lord hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare and he would just eat some flowers from the banana trees so this is how he did severe austerities in chaturmas then his uh, would you like to know the chanting standards of shila jagannath das baba ji maharaj it is said that once a person came to jagannath das baba ji maharaj and asked him that can you tell me how uh, should i uh, improve in my spiritual life jagannath das baba ji maharaj said it's it's very easy you just set your fix amount of rounds and you complete for every day you fix a set amount of rounds and that day you complete that 
a set of rounds before you go to sleep even if it is very difficult even if your life is in stake still you complete that set of rounds then you go to sleep this is one standard and then he said that uh, all of you listen to this carefully he said that from morning 3 am to 7 am nobody should sleep at that time that is the best time for chanting from 3 am to 7 am and in the evening from sunset to 11 pm you should go on chanting because you should not sleep at this time because it is said lord shiva comes to test if anyone is sleeping and if he is not uh, uh, engaged in the service of his lord lord shiva's lord is also lord krishna so he comes and checks that it is told this is what jagannathas baba ji maharaj had told about the chanting and it is said uh, to perfect this chanting jagannath das baba ji maharaj he would do one vrata it is called puraishcharya vrata in that what he would do he would it, during the summer he will go to rishikesh and he will go inside a room in the morning at 3 o'clock he'll get up he'll take bath and then he'll go inside a room and continuously he'll go on chanting hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare he'll go on continuously chanting and he will take meal only in the evening once once a day and uh, it is said that he uh, he will do the like this it's a vrata that has to be done for 3 months like this from morning 3 am you go on chanting inside a room uh, except if you have to go for your personal activities like if you have to uh, go to pass or if you have to uh, then you should you should go out you should pass urine and then take bath come again inside a room and go on chanting no mobiles no sms no uh, emails you should just go on chanting and if you talk in between you'll have to do it again what happened is after two months just out of habit he just spoke one word to bihari then he thought oh i have broken my vrata again he started from the first month although two months was complete again he did three months this full vrata where he started chanting from 3 o'clock in the morning up to evening and he will take only one meal in the night so that is why if you want to perfect your chanting you should pray to shri jagannath das baba ji maharaj who has perfected his chanting you can pray to him for the mercy so that you can chant nicely and what will happen when you chant nicely you will please lord krishna so this is how he would uh, chant and he is also known as sarvabhauma that is the leader of the vaishnava acharyas this name he got from shri bhakti vinod thakur shri jagannath das baba ji maharaj ki jai